What's up, everybody? Yeah, I saw some of y'all coming in here dancing and all that. What's happening, y'all? I'm Terrell Tilfer. Welcome to the Mixed Unplug segment of the Mixed Roots uh, Literary and Film Festival. Give it up, y'all. All right, all right. I want you to look to the person to your left, look to the person to your right, and say, I'm glad that you're here. Now say it to the other person. Now that everybody knows each other, let's take a quick moment and let's pull out our cell phones. Um, yeah, so let's pull out our iPads or our beepers. If you have a beeper, don't pull it out. Don't let anybody know that you have a beeper. <laughs> but let's silence all of those things, okay? Good, good. Then, huh? Oh. <laughs> Huh? What are you doing? Is this thing on? Can you hear me now? Huh? What? Hello. Hello. Oh, okay. Hold on, we're gonna do that again. Okay. <laughs> so I walk into this club, there's a mixed guy, a mixed woman. What are you doing? Huh? Excuse me. Huh? What are you doing? Um well I I was ho co-hosting the, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is my wife, Miss Victoria Platt Tilbury. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Huh? If you can't host, baby, you're not next. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, well, I, well, I look mixed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is true, but right. unfortunately that, that doesn't count. Okay. Well, at home it does. Hey, keep the night in that bedroom. Okay. No, honey, it's not fair. It's not fair. There are a lot of real interracial people who would have liked to have hosted tonight, and you're taking their spots, like Angelina Jolie playing Marion Pearl, Jean Crane playing Pinky, or... Elizabeth Berkeley playing anybody. That's a good point. But, honey, yeah. seriously, like, you, you can't do this. You're trying to pass for mixing this wrong. Heidi! Fanchin! Whoa, 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 Heidi, are you guys here? I need some assistance. You guys? Are Heidi and Fanchin in the house? Honey, you just, you can't. Uh, are you trying to say I chased off the mixed people now? No. <laughs> I'm saying you can't, you cannot host with me. Well, if Heidi and Fanchin were here, I think they would allow me to co host. Oh, oh, what? Oh. what is I'm sorry. Hey, you guys. Hey. You guys! Listen, would you guys tell her? Hold no. up, hold up. Because <laughs> I heard, I, I mean, I may have misheard, because I think what I heard outside was that somebody here is not mixed. He's passing. <laughs> never. I would never try and pass, but I'm going to tell you right now, Heidi and Fanchin both thought that I was a... No, if you say my cross, President Barack Obama said it. Okay. Well, I don't know. What do you what, Come on, you guys. Look, look, look. Look, look at it. Now, I've got to be mixed somewhere down the road, right? Somebody was sleeping with somebody. Oh, come on. I just want to, you know, I'm down with the mixed people, too. I even married one. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, call and response, quietly. So what do you guys think, is it cool? I mean, what do you guys? I mean, I'm gonna shower today. know that you're okay to do this, just don't shame me in the front of my people. Oh, this is Terrell <laughs> Tilford, co-hosting with me today at that show. So now that we've had our fun, we're waiting for you guys to have your fun. So it's time for you guys to have some fun. Um, we've got a wonderful lineup. So uh, tonight, the best of winners will be announced. 
and the Loving Prize awardees will be announced. And the live event is going to happen, which is amazing. We have some wonderful performers tonight. Yeah. Woo! See, this is why you shouldn't be hosting. <laughs> We would like to introduce and bring to the stage Council Member Pro Tam Jan You know, I'm from, originally from the Midwest, I'm originally from Ohio, and um, for those of you who know about Ohio, you know that uh, that was a place that uh, slave owners sent their children uh, um, that uh, were a result of uh, their unions with their own slaves. And so in Ohio, uh, our genetic pool is uh, extremely mixed up, and so every time I meet somebody who is um, of African American descent from Ohio, I always check and see if they're part Cherokee and part something else, and nine times out of ten they are, and I was just sharing with uh, Mark when I walked in the door, we're, 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 I think we're going to start an Ohio club, um, just so that we can talk to each other, uh, but I ran into somebody else the other night, and uh, they not only came from Ohio, but from Holly Springs, Mississippi, which was a plantation where my uh, family came from, and the, the wife had a name that was very similar to my grandmother, and it was just shocking to me to meet somebody with whom I might actually be related. But in a strange way, you know, it's hard when we look back at our own history of our country and Loving versus Virginia and think about there was a time when we wouldn't even be having this discussion and now we talk about it all the time. It was a landmark case that changed the way that we were able to love one another in any way we chose. So it's hard to believe that people were once barred because of their ethnicity from marrying, but today this concept is so foreign. Um, one, because of the way we live and the way that we've chosen to uh, have a life for our children. Our city is one of the most diverse and one of the most multi-ethnic places in the country. And this year's census numbers reflect that our multiracial, multicultural population continues to rise in the United States. And that makes me very happy because that means that the door will be closed to no one. And that we'll actually be forced to get to know each other as people and not make assumptions about each other based on the way that we look. So I'm happy about this festival and the celebration and the celebration of diversity and the beautiful families that are a result of this and all the creativity that comes from it. And I also want to congr congratulate this year's 2011 Loving Prize winners, uh, the uh, playwright Valina Hasu Houston, who's written over 30 plays, and of course Paul Spickard, a pioneering scholar on the issues concerning the mixed race experience, and both are advancing the mission of Loving Day, and that is to fight prejudice through relationship building, through education, through a sense of community among people and to engage in meaningful relationships. I uh, think back about my own child uh, who's a, a child of mixed race and uh, to think how much things have changed and depending on who she's with, she's 20 now, so of course she can't be bothered with me anymore. <laughs> so, um, but when she was little, you know, whoever she was with, that's what people would think she was and they constantly ask her. And, um, you know, I taught her some fairly choice lines to shut people down, but to show how much we've evolved, I know she came home one day, and it's evolved from race to something else, and she said her friend, her friend Mary, she said, my friend Mary is so lucky. I said, why? She said, well, she has two mommies. And, uh, <laughs> and you know, because see, moms are, moms are like the better thing anyway, so when you have two of them, you're even luckier. So this is the, this is, this is the world that we're living in, and the children are, taking us there. So I'm grateful to them and to Fen Shen Cox and Heidi Duro. Thank you for telling these stories and thank you for bringing us all together because these are our American stories too and they need to be told and we live them every day. So thank you very much.